Hey YouTube, it's me, Shatera Go3. I was just coming to you today because it's a very special day for me. It is July 9th, 2010, and has been exactly one year since I've gotten a relaxer to the day. And this is a very, very big accomplishment for me because if you have watched my my top 10 hair mistakes or my top 8 hair my hair mistakes video, it basically is talking about how I cannot go six weeks without a relaxer and then sometimes even four or five weeks without a relaxer. So to go a whole year without a relaxer for me is like a dream. It's like, whoa, did you really do that? And a lot of people that I've been telling it to, it's like, wow, really? So you don't have to get a relaxer every month and this is that. So I'm really encouraging other women to stretch a little bit more. Um, and then others who decide maybe they want to go natural. I actually have one girl in my job who big chopped. And I was like, wow. And she transitioned for, I think, four or five months. Um, she has, So she has a TWA. And I was like, oh, that's so awesome. I can't wait to cut my hair. Which is next weekend. Very excited. But, um... I did want to come also to answer a question that I see a lot, a lot of women ask. I even ask myself, um, do you have to big chop? If you want to go natural, do you have to big chop? No, you do not have to big chop your hair. You never have to cut your, you never have to cut all of your relaxer off your natural hair if you don't want to. You don't have to. There are many women who have gone years and years without cutting their hair who decided to just stop getting a relaxer and they wanted to be more natural, to go natural. And um, just type in YouTube, um, going natural without the big chop, or um, no, I'm not big chopping, or no big chop for me. Just something like that in YouTube, and you will see a whole bunch of girls who are transitioning without big, big chopping. There's actually one um, woman who is on YouTube and I think she's been natural for about 14 years and her hair is all the way like down here, um, down here. And it, she um, still has her relaxer ends, like right at the bottom of her hair, she has her relaxer ends. So she never cut them all the way off. But I do encourage you to trim your hair, um, however often you feel. Some people follow a routine, some just do it as they please, as they see fit in their hair. Um, but no, you do not have to be chopped. And um, also, no, you don't have to transition with one style over the other. It's really what you prefer. I prefer to use weed styles and um, as protective styles. I use wigs braids, which kink, I use mostly kinky twists, I didn't want to do the micros or anything like that. But if you choose to do micros, just be careful. You can do micros, but you need to be cautious, cautious when using micros uh, because they can uh, tear at your edges more easily because they're um, more smaller braids pulling at your hair. <clears throat> you got the heavy braids sitting on those little bit, bitty strands of hair. So some styles that you can do. Even ladies who are natural can do it. Even ladies who are relaxed, whether they decide to um, actually be natural or they're just stretching. Whatever you do, it's your choice, it's your hair. Some styles, bantu knots, uh, twist, twist outs, braids, braid outs, corn rolls, um, mini twists. And um, for ladies who are more, they have more natural hair, the relaxed hair, it, it looks better when you do when you do braid outs and twist outs if you curl the ends a little bit because you have all this natural hair and this little bit amount of relaxed hair that can kind of look a little crazy. Um, but of course, you can do weave stuff like I did. Um, wigs, you can do um, ponytails, you can do um, sewn ends. What else? There's so many styles. Like, search YouTube, YouTube, um, natural hair community, and there are so many women who are going natural, not doing a big job, who aren't wearing weave styles. 
And I mean, you can just do regular styles as well, you know, just throwing, throwing your own hair into a ponytail. Um, you can also flat iron, but be very cautious of flat ironing too much. Um, what else? There's coils you can do, um, roller sets that you can do. There's so many things that you can do. Just search it and look for it and don't be scared. You know, even if you decide to go natural and you don't make it, you know, you did it a little bit. You did it for a few months. That's a pat on the because it's not easy going natural um, dealing with the two textures in your hair. But a year in the making of No Relax Here for me is has been a very uh, spiritual um, mental, physical, emotional journey. It's really, um, it's really made me a different person. Honestly, it's made me um, less judgmental. It's made me look more into myself um, and to God for guidance instead of looking at the outside world and what everybody else is doing. And I am excited about my big chop, and I'm actually really, 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 really ready um, to be natural. And I'm really wanting to furrow like. That's, um, that's one thing I'm really excited about is the fro. And um, and um, I'm going to go cold turkey with weave styles for a little bit, maybe until winter, um, so that I'll show, uh, show my natural hair out loud and be happy about it. But again, uh, thank you all for following me on my journey. Thank you for being here for this year that I'm learning and growing. Thank you for all the ladies who made suggestions, the ladies that I've helped. Um, if you have any other questions, please feel free to contact me. Um, God bless. Have a happy hair journey. And I will be seeing you again for my next hair video.